Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you can see me or hear me properly. I'm having to record this on my phone because this piece of junk, he's not playing ball. I have recorded this intro seven times this morning and it's giving me the flickering camera of death. Uh, and when I press the stop button, it don't stop recording and then you lose all your footage or half your footage or three quarters of your footage. So to say that I'm not in the best of moods, we'd probably describe it accurately. Oh, right, I've now wasted 25 minutes trying to film a couple of minute intro. I am on the 414 on the way to Chelmsford. Today's job we're going to Gallywood, which is at the back of Chelmsford. We'll go up through Chelmsford, jump on the A12, go around a little bit. Uh, we're doing a mini rear bumper. Uh, yeah, it's Thursday today. Haven't managed to record anything this week, which has cheesed me off. Uh, Monday I chose not to record, I was doing a Fiesta ST bumper uh, at the workshop and snapped in half, I needed to get it done, dusting and back that day, uh, quite a lengthy repair to be fair, I'm sure I've got pictures of it, I'll have to have a look, if I did, I can't remember if I did take pictures, oh, I'm useless to take before and after pictures, if I did I'll put some up in a minute, um, and then I got to choose this job I couldn't really film. And um, then yesterday's job, I couldn't really film there either. So today I've decided I'm filming no matter what, uh, whether it be covertly out the side door of the van <laughs> or normally. Um, so yeah, it's been a nightmare, but we are going to make some content. My phone don't give out, so I might just have to use my phone. Um, I've just got no mounts or holders, you know, for my phone. I've got everything for my GoPro and that's a piece of, and that's going in the bin so I'm going to order a new GoPro probably tonight because I'm sick and tired of that going wrong on me. Um, it's been alright for ages to be fair. Uh, they released a new GoPro, uh, GoPro update the other week to stop you. It was doing some green, green screen thing when you was trying to connect to it to download your footage. And um, that's fixed that. But now I've got the flickering camera of death thing and you once you finish recording you press stop it doesn't stop it carries on recording and then you lose half your footage so uh, not great yeah anyway I need more coffee it's now 27 minutes past seven I want to be on the job at eight o'clock and when it beat this heat it's been absolutely savage it's supposed to be 28 today, which means it'll probably be hotter than 28. It was 28 yesterday. I had panel temperatures of like 56 degrees. <laughs> it was naughty. Uh, and tomorrow, geez, 34 degrees it's supposed to be tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, let's get over there. I'll show you the job. I don't even think I'll bother using a GoPro. We use the old GoPro for time lapse as normal, that, that behaves. Uh, it's not the best quality for actual talking to footage, but it's fine. We will make a video. I'll see you in a mo. to fix and we've got a bit of spider web cracking going along the top there I'm not even attempting to use my GoPro so apologies if the audio is not great right let's get you on time lapse let's get cracking Suffocating, I'm waiting, and I 
always hesitating Kryptonite desire set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Okay, so what we had was some previous repairs uh, and the filler, it was skimmed all the way out the top and around the edges and the little impact he had here, which I've got rid of, uh, made it obviously squish up and then the filler started cracking around our old repairs. Uh, I've took them right back now, that's all pretty good. We'll give it a little tiny skim, needs a little bit at the top there, this one's okay. Uh, and the rest of it should be good. I might just chase that last little bit out now. But in general, it's feeling good. And yeah, not bad. Let's crack on. See you in a moment. a bit of primer add all flaking paint around the toe and eye cover so we're going to do that as well so i'm going to start getting this masked up get this ready get some primer on it and we can get cracking it's starting to get scorching hot out here Masked up properly and then I put a bit of 
paper over so we can do a bit of primer in now. Once the primer's done, sand it all down, give it a little prep up. What I've decided to do, I'll show you when the paper's off, I'm going to clear the whole bumper. Uh, obviously we could just do a blend out to the edge, to the edge, but that's the end of the bumper. Instead of going around the fin bit and doing a blow in, we might as well just carry it across. I'll show you, it's nice and simple. Uh, I haven't quoted to do the whole lot, but I'm to just clear it. It's so much easier. We've got trees getting sh cut down beside me. Let's get some primer on. See you in a moment. chainsaw going yeah but see what I mean just clear that little bit under there there's no point blending in that corner and that corner just said to the customer look I'll do it a lot quickly <sighs> let's do this
Let's get some clear on this thing. I think we got it on wet enough that's the problem with panel temperatures you can't risk it going on dry I don't think it's going to need much lamping when that sun gets on it here we go cooking that off it's proper funny this corner where the sun's beating on it is already at 68 degrees i think it was without the heater on it's come out quite clean to be fair we've got a little spider down here that didn't quite get across the clear coat and we've got a couple of little nibs in this end to deal with just there nothing major looking quite nice It is scorching out here. <sighs> Not looking forward to tomorrow's job, that's for sure.
Here we go, guys. A little tickle. It was fairly clean, to be fair. We had a couple of little nibs in that corner there, but nothing really to worry about. Doing pretty well. There we go, guys. Another job jobbed. It says it's 30 degrees in my van. That was some slog, I'm telling you, today. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going. Where am I going? I'll go right here, I think. Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> Got to put my sat nav on, sat nav on. Oh, that is another thing you need to learn about when you're outside in the wilderness. Panel temperatures. Wow. Can't believe how hot that car was getting. It's unreal. Yeah, that's another thing to take into consideration, especially when you're clear coating. Um, blooming hell. Meltdown. All right, that is it from me today, guys. As always, a massive thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.